People talk about your central nervous system all the time. You know, powerlifters have this shit figured out because they, they strain so hard when they're trying to go for, you know, these max lifts that they understand their nervous system much better than, than most people. Bodybuilders are pretty good at it, you know, as well, because bodybuilders are just looking for that anabolic response in terms of size and, and definition. But I would say this, like, it's a real thing. Like, you can overtax, overtrain your central nervous system. You can, there's days like, you know, recently I, I was going heavier and I went for a while, you know, I put 600 pounds in the squat and man, it was tough. It took everything I had to get it, you know? And there was times in the past where I could hit that shit for five, no problem, you know, but it took everything I had. I hadn't done it in a while. And the next day, man, I'm just like fucking dragging ass. So what did I do? I trained for reps that day because your central nervous system can't fire at maximum every day. You can't. I know that I've heard different, uh, you know, power, power lifters like Larry Wheel says he likes to deadlift every 14 days. I knew that Tom Platts is a, you know, a pro bodybuilder would train his legs twice a month. So same situation. So you really need to pay attention to your, your central nervous system. If you're not, you know, it's, you're probably wondering why some days you can lift hard and other days you can't. You know what I'm saying? But for the average lifter, just take the fucking day off and you come back stronger, you come back better. But make sure you eat. So central nervous system is a real thing. So be thinking about it. Don't worry, you'll pay me later.